So the, the menu is a little bit laggy, but it's not too bad. Let's play like, I don't know, medium. I think I play easy. 101. We'll just go automatic. And the audio is just cutting out. It's just, it's basically unplayable. It basically never gets any faster than this. This is as fast as the game goes. So you can zoom out and it just, it's unplayable. Uh, this is definitely a skip on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, cruising, cruising USA is a skip, so. Okay. Unplayable. This title plays a lot better than the, its predecessor, but it still has audio issues and it's, it's a little on the laggy side. This game might actually benefit from uh, overclocking the chip. It might run a little smoother. Killer Instinct Gold runs really laggy. Notice the lag. It's not unplayable, but it's super laggy. If you're a huge Killer Instinct fan, this might be a game that actually benefits from overclocking. Because on a stock clock, it doesn't run very smooth at all. See the audio cutting out? Notice the audio lag. Pretty laggy. All right, guys. I'm. Uh, I just overclocked my Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, we overclocked to 1.4 gigahertz. The stock clock is 1.2. I'm just logging in. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now we're in. Let's see if it worked. I just. Let's change the clock. I'm going to go ahead and check the clock here. Frequency, 1.4. So we're at 1.4. I'm just kind of going to show you. I actually did it before over here. So I basically what I did was I went into the system BIOS, into the boot. I copied the config file and made a config file backup. And then I, well, make sure you log in as sudo. I sudo bashed into it. I open up the config file. I just use a simple VI command and on line 42, I checked the clock before. You can see it was at 1.2. I just did this earlier. There's already videos on this, but these are the clocks you put in at line 42. Uh, it's set for 800 megahertz default. You just copy and paste this where it needs to go on the VI. So you can actually go, so CD. I'm just doing this command line. Some people do, take out the USB. So this is the home directory. So I'm gonna go to CD boot directory. And if you type ls, you can notice that there's a thing called config.txt. I made a backup of this. I highly re It's going to void your warranty, so I highly recommend you guys make a backup. So all I did was just type vi, which is the configuration, into the text file. So I looked in the text file, and if you scroll down, you notice they're commented out. So what I did is I went over here to where it says uncomment this to overclock. It will say 800 megahertz set by arm equals 800, and it's common it. Just go ahead and delete that, and then input this for a 1.4 gigahertz overclock. GPU memory 400, on frequency 1.4, over volt 6, SD RAM 500, overclock 500, GPU frequency 400. And then go ahead and just save your file. And then reboot the system, and you can then run a CAT uh, device system to see where your CPU is running at. As soon as you make these changes, you know, we'll do a W write out. And then you can check it. So that's what I did over here. So I'll go ahead and just, I've already made changes. So I'm just going to go ahead and quit the file. So I've already made the changes and I'll go ahead and check the CPU. And you'll notice it's running at 1.4. I've already done a reboot. I just wanted to make this video not so long. So this is the RetroPie running at 1.4. I just want to point out this is going to void your warranty. So if you guys are worried about breaking your pies or overheating them, uh, just be really careful. Make sure you have uh, heat sinks. We do have heat sinks on my Pi below. So now we're going to go ahead and test our Nintendo 64 games after an overclock to see if it makes a difference. It was uh, nearly unplayable here earlier. Like before I couldn't even move, it was just so laggy. It's still, you can tell, it's it's uh, definitely limitations of this chip. Now we have 
efficient than locking. So GoldenEye 007 definitely plays a lot better after overclock. There's a few more tweaks you can do actually to make the game run. You can enable the over here. One more tweak if you want really want to get the best experience out of your Nintendo 64 under the config. This is mentioned in other videos under the Raspberry Pi Pi settings, Retro Pi. You want to go. I think it's configuration tools. You want to set this your configure emulation to use Display Max SDL. This makes it so it runs better on Nintendo 64. So make sure when you overclock, you're enabling this as well. There's also a really good documentation on the RetroPie site about how to make Nintendo 64 games run better. I highly recommend you guys check that out as well uh, before you overclock and check it out. But definitely the overclock is going to help in your performance if, if your goal is to play Nintendo 64 games on your RetroPie. Uh, I would recommend it as long as you have heat sinks or maybe like a small little fan and you, you don't mind possibly blowing up your machine. This runs a lot better on the overclock than the, the stop. And again, we only overclocked it uh, 200 megahertz per quarter, but it's also it's actually a lot faster because if you guys didn't know this is a quad core, quad core, so. It's actually really playable now. Very, very playable. The overclock made a huge difference. Made a non-playable game uh, very playable. Still has a little bit of audio issue, but not terrible. Let's see if it runs any better. I'm going to play Skeletor again. There's still that lag in between the rounds. It does play a little, um, again, lag. Huh? Uh, it's laggy still. I think if this thing had a little bit faster, this would almost be playable. It's not as unplayable before, but it's really laggy. I mean, I think it's just audio issues. It actually plays okay. I don't remember this game. The audio is just all bunched up though. The controls are pretty responsive for this game. Besides the audio being messed up, and I heard this game has a good soundtrack. I noticed it gets smoother when there's no vehicles. This game actually runs way better on the box. This game's smooth now. Look how good this sounds and the audio is this too. Compared to, uh, I have this on a RetroPie 2, 4.2, the PI definitely plays this a lot better. Especially overclocked, it's, it's smooth as hell. Probably 98 difference. Toad! Oh god! Dude, that's so stupid. I hate Toad.